In 2010, a plane took off in Africa with 21 passengers on board. But minutes into the flight, something unexpected happened. It wasn't an engine failure or bad weather. It was a crocodile. This bizarre turn of events would lead to a crash that claimed the lives of almost everyone on board. What happened in those final moments? And who smuggled this deadly stowaway? The man responsible for smuggling the crocodile was not just an ordinary traveler. His name was Jean-Claude Cabaret, a man with a peculiar background. Jean-Claude was a trader from the Democratic Republic of Congo, known for dealing in exotic animals, a trade that skirts a dangerous line between legality and smuggling. For years, he had been involved in the illicit wildlife market, buying and selling animals that fetched high prices in the black market. But in 2010, Jean-Claude was desperate. Facing financial hardships, he saw an opportunity to make a huge profit by smuggling a crocodile to sell in the city. Crocodiles were highly prized by certain collectors, and he had found a buyer who was willing to pay top dollar. With the stakes high, Jean-Claude made a risky decision. He would smuggle the crocodile onto a small passenger plane. Jean-Claude had spent days planning his next move. He had purchased a small juvenile crocodile, thinking it would be easy to conceal. He fashioned a large carry-on bag with extra compartments, planning to keep the animal hidden long enough to make it through the short flight to his destination. Jean-Claude was confident in his plan. He'd smuggled animals before, but never under such high-pressure conditions. The morning of the flight, Jean-Claude seemed calm and collected. He made his way through the airport, checked in like every other passenger, and boarded the small aircraft, a Let L410 Turbolet, flying from Kinshasa to the Bandundu region in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The plane, designed for short-haul flights, was packed, with 19 passengers and two crew members. The close quarters meant that if anything went wrong, it would affect everyone on board. Everything seemed routine, until it wasn't. At some point during the flight, the crocodile escaped from Jean-Claude's bag. Chaos erupted instantly. The sight of the reptile in such a confined space caused widespread panic. Passengers jumped from their seats, rushing to one side of the plane in a desperate attempt to avoid the animal. In the chaos, the balance of the aircraft was thrown off. The pilots, startled by the sudden shift in weight, fought to regain control, but it was too late. The plane was now in a dangerously unstable position. With too many passengers crowded on one side, the small aircraft couldn't handle the imbalance. It began to plummet. The crash occurred just minutes after the crocodile's escape. The plane came down in a house near Bondundu, killing 20 people. Only one passenger survived, living to tell the harrowing tale of how a smuggled crocodile had brought the plane down. Remarkably, the crocodile itself survived the crash, only to be killed by rescue workers after the wreckage was discovered. Jean-Claude, the man responsible for bringing the animal on board, was one of the many casualties. His greed and desperate attempt to profit from the illegal wildlife trade cost him not only his life, but also the lives of almost everyone on board. The incident shocked the aviation and wildlife communities alike, serving as a grim reminder of the dangers of illegal wildlife smuggling. <laughs>